What's going on, everyone? How you doing? Oh, welcome back to the channel today, ladies and gentlemen. We have our very first matchup against Fuso Dab, coach of the Everglade Entes. This is the LA Infernal's first showing in the Elite Battle League in season two. Uh, we got to make it a good showing. I'm very nervous to go against this team. I'm I'm ill prepared. I won't lie to you. I'm not in the best position. Uh, but but we're still gonna give it our all. Um, looking at his team, I just was not in a I just couldn't really figure out the best strategy for his team. It was really hard. So the team I put together, I feel like it'll have a very good chance, but uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not 100% confident heading into this one. Um, I think we're definitely going to struggle quite a bit. If we manage to walk away with the win, it's going to be extremely hard fought. Um, but I think if Foose were to win, he could cakewalk us. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We talked a bit beforehand, but that didn't calm my nerves at all. <laughs> so we're going to get right into this one. But before we get to all that, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you are a subscriber, be sure to leave a like on the video. Check out the socials in the description. My Twitter and Instagram are both at HermitLonely underscore. Uh, the playlist link for the weekly roundups and stuff will be down below. I think I'll put that stuff down below as well. Um, so you guys be sure to check it out. And of course, merch store. We got our merch store. We have our regular loaners merch. We just found foos. We have a regular loaners merch. And we also have the team uh, merch. The LA Inferno merch is also in there. We have a limited time jersey in there as well. So you guys definitely want to check that out. Um, but I will go ahead and pick the rules here. Uh, let's go ahead and go single battle. Normal rules, of course uh we also are going to have uh that's fine uh participating team so this is the team we're going to be rocking with uh leafion dracovish hippowdon tevanantar corvinite and landorus uh it like i said this could be a really good team this could also be a really bad team i'm honestly just not sure uh we're just gonna stick with the gym leader music um yeah, we'll stick with the gym leader music. I love the gym leader music. Um, I'm ready. Hopefully, I, I don't know. It's it's tough because if he starts out with Torical, Hypowdon would be the better one for me. If he starts off with Groudon, uh, Tyranitar would be better for me. I could start off with Corviknight. I don't know, guys. I'm so freaking nervous. I don't know who to start off with. Um, okay, so he brought... Wow, he didn't bring Torkoal. Okay, 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 okay. That's actually big. That's actually not... That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. So he didn't bring Torkoal. So we have, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Where's my pen? Okay, so we have, we have Groudon. I should have been more prepared. Groudon, Colossal, Venusaur, uh, Gastrodon. I knew, see, one of my biggest problems, guys, is going to be that glare and wheezing. That glare and wheezing is honestly going to be a pain. Um, and Arthur's my really only answer to that. And even then, I don't know if Arthur can handle it. I, I it's, it's that glare and wheezing is gonna be a pain, guys. Pain. Um, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with Jill. We're gonna start with Jill because we have Ice Punch on Jill. We're gonna see if we can maybe. We obviously want to get the sand up. Um, I was tempted to lead with Arthur, but I think Jill might be better. So we're gonna get the sand up. We're gonna it, hopefully he leads with Groudon. Um, Groudon might get off a ground type move, but at the same time, I think I think maybe we should be able to get off a uh, a. Um, Ice Punch. That's the goal. If not, I might just auto switch after the Sandstream goes up. Hopefully, I don't know if we're going to outspeed the Groudon. If we don't, then, uh, then, <laughs> actually, hopefully we don't out, yeah, is that what I said? Don't outspeed the Groudon, because if we don't, that's Weezing. Ah, okay, so he leads with Weezing. Okay. I should have led with Corviknight. I should have led with Corviknight. I should have led with Corviknight. I had a feeling. I had a feeling, and I should have led with Corviknight. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Uh, we're not gonna. We're just gonna auto switch out, because whatever he tries to do, he can't do against against uh, Arthur. Uh, by the way, we have Jill. This is a throwback to our Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. If you guys ever want to check that out, it's my OG series. Uh, so we switch into Arthur. I feel like he probably saw that coming. Talk to Spikes. Ah, you're annoying, Foose. All right. So all our Pokemon are pretty much gonna be on timers from here on out. All our Pokemon are gonna be on timers from here on out. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead. Um, uh. I feel like no one on his team wants to take an Iron Head. I could predict a switch into maybe Venusaur, but no one on his team wants wants an Iron Head. No one on his team wants an Iron Head. It's neutral at least against everyone. I could set up the Reflect. Um, maybe I should. I'm gonna set up the Reflect. Because if he switches, we get a free turn. If he switches, we get a free turn. He's thinking. I think he is gonna switch. He did. We got a free Reflect off. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. This is his Groudon. 
This is his Groudon. I am listening to the music, by the way. He gets rid of the sand. That's fine. That's fine with me. So he's going to try and Fire Blast us, which is special. He's going to Fire Blast us, especially. He's probably thinking right now, like, it's okay. He set up to Reflect because he's going to get off a of Fire Blast. Um, so what we're going to do is do we switch? Because I feel like Moto Moto could take a Fire Blast, but do we want to go into Moto Moto? That's the question. I don't. Nothing's taking a Fire Blast in this thing. Nothing's taking a Fire Blast. Like, well, Drip, yeah, Drip, Drip could. It's it's quad resistant. I believe that it is quad resistant on a uh, Dracovish. Come on, Dracovish. Uh, it is quad resistant. And there's nothing else that it can. Okay, we're gonna go Drip, Drip. Because we will be able to eat something and we have a second to think. Because it's gonna be quad resistant. I know it's fire boosted. We're gonna take like an eighth, I think. I don't think we'll take a lot. Maybe 20, 20, 30. I, I honestly, I'm just not even gonna think about the, the toxic spikes because there's no point. There's no point. All right, so he, he did that. Uh, we're not in a good position. Why are toxic spikes a thing? I I should have gone to Moto Moto. I should have gone to Moto Moto. I should have gone with my gut. I should have gone with my gut. Now I have to switch again. I should have gone with my gut, dude. I should have absolutely gone with my gut. I screwed up. I should have absolutely gone with my gut. I should have absolutely gone with my gut. I don't see him using a fire type move here. I could potentially see him using a ground type move. Unless he tries to predict a switch out. Solar Beam is a thing, but Groudon is not really special. <sighs> this switching is going to kill us, man. Literally. <laughs> Literally. But we have to. We have to. That's the problem. That's the problem. I'm going to get my spikes up. He would you as well. Okay. We're going to get our rocks up. Gary the Gastronaut. That's fine. That's fine. I honestly am so tempted to just let everyone get poisoned. So I could just keep resetting their toxic, like, cause... Okay, he's probably gonna use a water type move. He's probably gonna use a water type move. Do I set up the rocks? Who, who's the rocks even gonna affect? It's chip damage, sure, but... Realistically, I don't think rocks really matter. Ah, uh, these toxic spikes, man. Yeah, I don't think, I don't... Toxic Spikes was like the last thing I actually... No! I did think of Toxic Spikes. I'm so stupid. I did think of Toxic Spikes. I don't know why I didn't act on that. If he burns me, we're screwed. Okay. Oh, wait. We're poisoned. He can't burn us. Never mind. We should not speed this thing. But if he switches to, let's say, Glaring Weezing or Venusaur or Colossal, um, it's not going to be pretty. But, I mean, he's going to switch. Let's just get off a Leaf Blade. Maybe we'll get a crit hit. He's going to switch. It's fine. Ah, uh, you know what? He's, he might go to Colossal. Uh, I should have Body Slam. Because I could have gotten a Paralysis also off on someone. Potentially. It's fine. It's fine. Puff. Okay. That's resisted. Only half, though, I believe. Jeez. He might switch out with us, but I have to go to I have to go to uh, Arthur. I mean, I reflect we're off. That's fine. I have to go to Arthur. He's probably got a fire type move. It's the problem. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Hold on. I forgot. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Wind Rage gets rid of. Does it, oh wait, does it get rid of? I, I feel like rin, Wind Rage does get rid of spikes. I'm so stupid. I should have just Dynamax right after rip and gotten rid of them. I should have. Dude, I'm so stupid. How could I forget that? That's what Wind Rage does. It gets. Oh, does it? 
Does it not give it a... I have to G-Max. I have to. I have to get rid of those Toxic Spike. I mean, I know half our team's already poisoned, but... He's probably... What he's gonna... Watch, am I Gigantamax? What he's gonna do, he's gonna bring out the Rotom um, Wash. Either that or he's gonna he's gonna fire blast me right here. Either way, I I that was just a horrible start. That was a horrible start, guys. Horrible start. Horrible start. Horrible start. I think things are. Uh, I was gonna say if this thing outspeeds us, I'd be a little surprised to be honest. I'd be very surprised actually. I should have just done that first turn. I should have just done that first turn. I should have just done that first turn. Um, I kind of want to max guard. Let's do it. Let's see what he's got. Fire punch. Fire punch, not fire. I just said Groudon's not special. Why am I expecting fire blast? Uh... I mean, if we get a we, we if we get off a of max steel spike first, it raises our defense. Oh, he outsped us! No, don't burn, don't burn, don't burn, dude, don't burn. That's horrible, dude. That's horrible. Ah, running these annoying shots. Okay. So what we're gonna do? He's probably gonna switch. I doubt he uses a ground type move right here. I'm almost out of water. He's probably—is he gonna switch? What's he gonna do here? There we go. Okay, we eat that. Don't burn. <sighs> Do we outspeed a Groudon? He's gonna have a physical ground type move if he has a ground type move. Nothing takes an ice punch except like Rotom Wash and Gastrodon. No, I think it's neutral or Gastrodon. And Col Colossal can take it more so than anyone else. I think we ice punch here. Earthquake, that's fine. We, I think we take one. Yeah. Freeze it. Bulky. If he EQs again, that's a problem. Obviously. The good part is I feel like Arthur is a free switch in on almost everyone. I could bring in. Can Drip Drip take one? Can Drip Drip take one earthquake? Because I'll outspeed it. I'll definitely outspeed Groudon. But the problem is, if I switch into Drip Drip, take a hit. If I switch and take a hit, he's gonna just bring in like Rotom Wash, or he's gonna bring in Gastrodon. It's gonna be pointless. I could just switch in a row in. Switching to Rowan. He's probably gonna try and over predict and use a fire type move. Which Rowan can take. Especially if it's fire punch, I just can't get burned. And then I can just U-turn out. I can just U-turn out. I can just U-turn out. Which is what we're gonna do. I need a free switch. Kind of. It's kind of a free switch. Quote unquote free switch. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't. Our chances are pretty slim right now. Not even gonna lie. Not even gonna lie. Half our team, most of our team is status. Most of our team's status. U turn's not gonna do jack against this thing. Which is fine. We both get a free switch. Kind of. I get like a minimal chip damage, but we both get some, some chip. You know what? I could Iron Head with Drip Trip. 
Will Fish just render Iron Head kill? Because the problem is, if I don't kill, I'm dying. Because I'll take a fairy type move, and, and I'm sure he has one, like Pollen Puff or something. Is Pollen Puff fairy? I think Pollen Puff is fairy. How much Sandstorm do we have left? I didn't even check. I should have checked. Okay. How much do we have left? One turn. That's fine. So we're gonna we're gonna EQ. He could switch to Rotom Wash. He could switch to Rotom Wash. I'm gonna get it Yawn. I have a feeling he's gonna switch here. Yep. All right. Cool. We got a free Yawn off on something. We got a free Yawn. I knew he was gonna try and predict the EQ. Cool. 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 That was good bait. So we're gonna get off a of Yawn and Rotom Wash. On off on you, and I can get a oh, if he switches. If I switch to Tyranitar, he's probably gonna use a water type move. Does he let Billy Mays go to sleep? Does he let Billy Mays go to sleep? Does he let Billy Mays go to sleep? Does he let it go to sleep? Does he let it go to sleep? Does he let it go to sleep? I think I have to let someone go down here. Okay. No! I should've... Why am I okay with that? I should've gone to Jill. Damn it. I should've... No, no. You know what I should've done? I should've just EQ'd. I should've just EQ'd. That was a horrible misplay. That's, that's my worst misplay so far. That's my worst misplay so far. That is my worst misplay so far. 110%. 110%. That's my worst misplay so far. We're going to have to let Tyranitar go down. 110%. That's my worst misplay so far. Easily. Easily. I should have either EQ'd or gone into jail. One or the other. I should have... You forced the switch. Why? Ah, that was horrible. So the protect is pointless. We get the sand back up. He's gonna use a, probably a fairy type move, I would guess. Why you burned Arthur? Dude, that ruined everything I had. Dude, <laughs> oh my god. We have to be like 10 minutes into this battle and no one's even died. We have to be like 10 minutes into this battle, dude. We have to be like 10 minutes into this battle. We have to be like 10 minutes. I should have just gone to Arthur, to be honest. We have to be like 10 minutes into this battle. We have to be. There's no way we're not. <laughs> I mean, if I could somehow stall the timer, I mean, by all means. You think he tries it again? Goes for Rotom Wash again? I think we just try to get chip damage to the best of my ability. Sludge Bomb, that's fine. We're already poisoned. So we'll, I'm going to switch out Moto Moto after this. We'll have one more switch in with Moto Moto to get the sand up. I'm just going to get a last... Last ditch, um, which I'm gonna call it up. Stealth Rock. How much time do we have on our sand? Yeah, we have one more switch in with Moto Moto. We have one more switch in. If you use a Sludge Bomb again or a Fairy type move, we're fine if we switch to Arthur. Yeah, I think you just auto click Sludge Bomb again. I need to keep it alive just so we can get one more switch in for, for, uh, which I'm gonna call it. For, um,. Sand. You know, I don't think we. I, I think we. I think we recovered pretty well, but that was that was too bad of a start. That was too bad of a start. That was too bad of a start. I just dropped water all over myself. <laughs> that was too bad of a start for us to fully recover from. Honestly, that was too bad of a start. It's alright. The sand was probably gonna go away right now, anyways. We're going in a cycle. I don't know if you guys you guys have noticed. We're going in a cycle, but the problem is my team's wearing down. His is fine. My team's wearing down. His is fine. That's the issue here. Do I let Moto Moto go down and just finish? Do I let Jill go down? I feel like Joe can maybe take one more hit. 
at the health she's at. Maybe take one more hit. There's definitely more of a chance of her taking one hit versus Moto Moto. The good part is, is Drip Drip can't get burned. So he's gonna fire punch here. He's gonna fire punch. He has to. We're gonna let we're gonna get a free switch in. We're gonna let Moto Moto go down. We're gonna get a free switch in, let Moto Moto go down. If this goes to timer, dude. <laughs> I'll be happy. <laughs> I just don't wanna get swept. That's all. I just wanted to stand up. Cool. Moto Moto's gonna die, that's fine. That's okay. Thank you. Good job, Moto Moto. We got a free switch in though. I'm just gonna fish this friend and hope for the best. <laughs> he sends in Venusaur. He sends in Glaring Weezing. Whatever. I'm just gonna fish this friend. Hope for the best, uh, cause no one resists. Oh wait, no, no, no. Rotom Wash does. It's the only Pokemon that will resist. No way there's three minutes left, dude. Oh my god, there's no way. <laughs> he has Storm Drain. I saw that coming too. I did see that coming. I did see that coming. I did see that coming. I'm not gonna lie, I did see that coming. Alright, well, I think we just stalled the timer, so that way we just don't lose by as bad. I hate to do this to you, Foos, but I have to try and stall this timer. I have to. I have to, because if I don't, I'm just going to lose by a lot that I can't recover from later on. I'm just trying to think future weeks. I'm just trying to think in future weeks here. I'm trying to think in future weeks. That's all I'm trying to think about right now. No, 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 no. Stupid controller, dude. If I had clicked that right there, I would have given him the win like by 6-0. I would have genuinely given him a 6-0 right there. Uh... If I let Arthur die, what benefit? I, I'm definitely gonna outspeed this thing, but there's literally no reason to, 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 whatchamacallit. Reflect is up for one more turn. Yeah, can you stack Reflect? I'm pretty sure you can, right? Crap. It's just body press. We're just gonna let Arthur go down and try to stall the time to the best of our ability. Ah, that was just a horrible start. I made I made too many misplays. I made too many misplays. Too many misplays. I mean, he pretty much beats the rest of our team. I mean, Ice Beam, Ice Beam, Ice Beam, kind of. He's got Storm Drain, so. I mean, I could just outrage, I guess. May as well. I'm so tempted to just let the timer run out. I'm sorry, Foos. I really am. But I'm going to let the timer run out. Because even if even if Drip Drip dies right here, that's 6-3. And that's still recoverable. So... I'm going to let it go until my move time hits 30. Because by the time the animations are done and all that, um, we'll be good. I'm sorry, Foos. I'm sorry, but I have to. I have to. I have to. That's wasting even more time. That's fine with me. If he kills Dracovich, it's 6 30. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god, that was stressful, dude. Now that was just a, a like a god awful start. That was a god awful start. There's no way we were gonna recover from that start. It would have been like amazing misplay, amazing play after play if we recovered from that start. I don't know if we die to poison. Oh, we will we'll die to, to the combination of both. I think. Right. I'll take a six three. <laughs> I'll take a six three. <laughs> I had to stall that at the end. I had to. I'm sorry, but I had to. Uh, it doesn't matter who I send out. Let's send out um, our shiny. It doesn't matter. Match is over. I had to stall that at the end. I had to. I wish I could have kept it closer, but there was no chance. 
There was no chance. It's just crunch, I guess. Doesn't matter. Yeah. GG's, Foos. GG's. Your strats are too annoying. <laughs> strats are too annoying. Nah, I, I respect it, though. I fully respect it. I thought of Toxic Spikes, but... Nah, what I should have done was just Gigantamax right away and got rid of them. That's exactly what I should have done. Because he was always going to switch out of Glare and Weezing. So I absolutely, absolutely should have just done Gigantamax and got rid of them right away. Absolutely should have just done that. If I had done that, we would have been in a much better position right there. It might have been a 6-4. Even if we ended up in the same position, Draco Wish was right there, it would have lived on 10. It would have been a 6-4. So... I think that I think that was the biggest biggest misplay right there. That and then not just EQing or switching to Jill after I yawned the Rotom Wash. That was really stupid. Those two plays were really stupid. Could have um could have been so different. So different. I made a couple different choices there. I think our team wasn't bad. I think I did make a decent choice with our team selection. I think I did. But I didn't utilize them correctly. I did not. I should have absolutely Gigantamax. I should have absolutely Gigantamax as soon as he put up those toxic spikes. We didn't even see Colossal or Rhinosaur, which is depressing. <laughs> but I knew at the end there, like, the match is going on for way too long. I had to stall out. I had to stall out there at the end. There was no chance I was going to let him just sweep the rest of my team. I had to stall out there. Because minus three is better than minus six. <laughs> Way better. So I think I, I did good enough to prevent a big loss, which isn't ideal. It's not ideal. It's not ideal. I wasn't confident coming to this match at all. I was not. Um, but let me see if Foos wants to hop on a car or something. Um, and then if not, then we'll just call it off there. Um, so I'll see you guys in a second, whether I outro or we're talking to Foos. Alrighty, so we're gonna we're gonna keep that conversation a secret um, because Foos did tell me a couple things he has uh, some plans for. Um, so we're gonna keep that convo a secret. So we're just gonna go ahead and head right into the outro. Um, unfortunately, honestly, my biggest misplay was not Gigantamax and Corviknight. We were talking about it. My biggest mis misplay was not Gigantamax and Corviknight. I get rid of those toxic spikes. I have a much more fun time um his wheezing did have levitate he just informed me so there was one time i think i clicked a, uh, a ground type move um forgetting it had levitate because i was so on the fence with wheezing is it gonna have levitate is it gonna have um neutralizing gas which both would have been awful for the team um but i knew that I, I knew that wheezing was coming um but i told him i was like from that point on i had to stall like after the first five minutes or so, I had to stall. I had to try and, and try and mitigate the damage. That's all I could do because I, I knew there was no chance. But he even agreed the burn on the Corviknight was the biggest. Like that was the turning point. That was like that was when I went into full damage control because there was no way. Like Corviknight was just a central part of trying to take his team down, and there was just no way that um, I would have gotten past him without it. And it sucked that it got burned, dude. It sucked. I should have. I wish it could have gone poison, because then at least it wouldn't have been burned. Like poison's fine if it, if I can keep switching around and stuff. But Corbinet was my free switch in, so it started taking more damage. And the storm drain, I remembered as soon as it happened. I was like, damn it, it does have storm drain. There was another ability that it had. Oh, I'm not gonna. Where's my notebook, man? There's another. I don't know where my notebook is, but there's another ability it had. Um, that I I wouldn't have been surprised to see But man Foos played incredibly. Um, so GG's to him great match. Um, I tried guys I really did but that was just a massive misplay. I think it came down to that huge misplay a couple misplays and could be a different match entirely, but I, I Try to just limit the damage. That's all I could do at the end there, but uh, hopefully we'll, we'll bounce back next week I believe we have ace for second ace um where is the wizard schedule yes forsaken ace our only cross division match is next week so we'll be playing against the redwood mouse i promise i'll try to be better prepared for that one because i really wasn't 100 percent prepared i do think we brought the right team again i just think i didn't utilize them correctly um i think i, I definitely could have done a lot better i need to remember what each pokemon can do if i remembered corvin i could have gotten rid of the spikes i would have just done that right away but 
it is what it is we'll see you know we'll see next week hopefully we can bounce back um but i don't feel too bad after that loss i don't think it was it was that bad i don't think we got necessarily outplayed i think i kind of outplayed myself to be honest more so than anything else my glasses are fogging up because it's starting to get hot in the room so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up uh if you guys enjoyed the video and if you're new here be sure to let me like and subscribe check out the socials in the description twitter and instagram below at hermeloni underscore our merch store is also down below with la inferno merch if you want to rep some losers in the league and also check out our regular merch as well uh the merch store is down below play this link for the weekly roundups and i'm gonna go ahead and start putting the matches also down down there i'm gonna try and put a playlist together while the matches um that'll be down below it might not be fully updated by the time you guys are watching this video but it will be updated soon enough when all the matches come out on saturday uh and you know go check out all the other ebl creators uh coaches and creators they're also creators uh the links will be down below and of course be sure to share social site friends family everyone you know let the people know lonely hermits where it's at we'll see you guys in the next one bye